we have charged and arrested given with the aged sickisty of Hillview Park in Lusaka for the offense of a failure to attend before the committee and national assembly contrary to section 11a of amendment act number 13 of 2016 of chapter 12 of the national assembly act of the laws of zambia it is alleged that mr Lubinda was summoned to attend before the assembly and committee on privileges and absences and without reasonable cause failed to attend to the summons issued to him on the date, time, and place mentioned in the summons. He is detained in police custody, awaiting court appearance. Thank you very much. So we are, are you able yes, to answer we are done questions? like your name. Ask the question, but ask, ask so that you don't speculate. Well, when did it happen? Yeah, we mentioned that uh, this occurred between December 2021 and 14th June 2022 in Lusaka. Okay. And you, Thank you very much. And you mentioned to say you summoned as a police or by parliament? Because you said you, 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 summoned, you summoned him on a date mentioned the summons. When did you summon as a police for him to appear to come? When we summoned him? Yes. You want to know when we summoned him? <laughs> Just know that we have him in our custody. Okay. We have read out the charge already. Yes. So they are saying this is politically motivated. According to PF, this is, the, the arrest is politically motivated. As police, perhaps, do you have uh, any comment on that? Yo, anyone is free to say whatever they feel like saying, but police, we don't operate on uh, political lines. We are independent, and uh, by the end of the day, you'll be given chance to stand before the courts of law. Yes, we are not the judges, we are police officers. Thank you very much. Sorry, if I can ask you the last one. What took the police to summon from 2021 to, 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 to Drake? What took you long for the police to summon him to come to the police? Because well, it was that, that was 2021 December. 2021, 2021 to summon him. Yeah, we may not be in the position to say to tell you exactly what happened, but you know, we've got cases that we are following up which occurred uh, even many years ago. There are other cases which occurred yesterday, we are following them up. So I can't tell you what exactly transpired. Yes. Investigations have got no time limit. Yes. No, it's okay. It's I'm holding the cake here for our uh, Vice President Honorable um, Given Rubinda. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday. I was telling the police that why are you arresting this man on, on his birthday? Uh, seriously, uh, there's a developing matter here. Honorable Given Rubinda has been arrested. He has been arrested for the offense of failing to appear before Parliament. The, the brief of that is that Parliament had summoned Honorable Given Rubinda in December 2021 to appear over his remarks he made at a press conference uh, when he criticized the speaker over a decision to expel uh, nine members of parliament mm -hmm. at the time. So as a party, we had made remarks and uh, Honorable Given Rubinda is the one that addressed that um, press briefing. We criticized the action of the speaker, which has since been verified by the courts of law. That mm -hmm. actions were illegal, were obnoxious, and uh, were out of place. The parliament was offended with those remarks and they called um, Honorable Rubinda 
Honorable Winda did not appear, according to the statement here, both in December and, and in June 2022. We are rather surprised by this arrest because the Speaker closed this matter. The Speaker reprimanded Honorable Given Winda in absentia. How it has been brought to be a matter of criminal offence here at the police is what has puzzled all of us. So as we stand here, Honorable Given Winda has been arrested and is detained at uh, Woodlands Police Station and we are trying very hard to get him sureties. Our sureties are here where our lawyers are trying to speak to um, the officers from Central Police that he could be given police bond because this is a bondable offence. What are our remarks? We have noted the pattern to abuse these archaic laws. We were here the other day for a similar offence where they are citing archaic and colonial laws to oppress the opposition. This is a, an act to attempt to silence us, the judiciary, the, the parliament, are not immune, they are not immunized from criticism. If we can criticize the president every day, and if the president has removed criminal defamation from our books, or from our statutory books, what about these uh, people, judiciary and, and parliament? Why do they think that they are so sacred that they cannot be criticized? You know, we are seeing this operation, and uh, there was no consideration that this was the man's 60th birthday, and the police were swift to say the complaint is from the Speaker of the National Assembly is from Parliament and they were just executing the arrest because uh, according to them, Honorable Given Winder had, um, was found liable for those utterances and uh, that was in breach of parliamentary privilege. Ambassador Damwamba, would you confirm with us that um, the complainant is the Speaker of the National Assembly? The complainant is Parliament. Is a Speaker. Is a Speaker. I, I think it is important, sorry Ambassador, to put things in context. Yeah. That is the People's Assembly. Madam Speaker and all presiding officers are members of Parliament representing us. And if it's a People's Assembly, it cannot be, like Ambassador said, immune to criticism. If there is a, a, a wing of government that is highly political, it is the People's Assembly. It is charged with the responsibility of talking on our behalf. And we have a mandate to, as citizens to follow up what our, our representatives are doing and be able to check them. At law, the, there was a matter to do with Fred Membe and others, to which the High Court made a ruling that that parliament has no power to jail or prosecute citizens. Beyond that, there was a matter to do with Misaka in the HLMI in opposition, yeah. to which the speaker then wanted to direct a DPP to prosecute Misaka in the HLM. According to the constitution, that office cannot be dictated to or directed by anybody, and the, the DPP then, the NCU, refused to prosecute Misaka in the HLM because it was out of, you know, it was against the law. So what is happening today is against the law. Honorable Lubinda is already vindicated. His opinion over the speaker and the conduct of that house towards the nine members of parliament, the constitutional court has already made a pronouncement. So the, court, the police are operating out of order. This is just basically the continued fear of the UPND who are using the police to intimidate the opposition, particularly the patriotic front. Yes. This is a silly case. It should not even have been entertained. But as it were, when you have petty leaders, silly things like this happen. Thank you, Honorable. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So we will update you if we manage to get police bond. Uh, as a party, we are rather surprised that a matter that was sufficiently closed in Parliament, you will see the ruling of the Speaker. She reprimanded Honorable given Rinda in absentia and closed the matter. How it has become a criminal offence where the Speaker is the official complainant in this matter is totally unacceptable. And, uh, you know, we need to express worry about the, uh, our Parliament, where, where you've seen what has been happening, where our members of Parliament keep on walking out because of the oppressive ma manner 
in which the Presidium has been conducting affairs of Parliament. And I repeat, the judiciary, the executive and Parliament must not be immune to criticism. We are a democracy. They are using laws left under one party participatory democracy. And those laws that were left by our colonial masters, now to abuse them and punish the opposition. But this, I think, will not be. Count Honorable, um, yes. given him that, you know, he told me he's, he's not intimidated in any way. Yeah. He's surprised that this matter is here. But he will walk the rock. He will, he will walk this, this path. Because he recognizes that it's a matter just of intimidating and oppressing the, uh, uh, the opposition. So thank you very much. Let's go and take the cake to Honorable Heluvinda. Thank you. I'm organizing you. He's, he's one of the shooters. I'm with only for the of the surety. No, but I'm not from Masha and Munga. I'm going to go He's one of the sureties. Sorry, sorry. I'm going to go to the camera. I'm going to go to the public. He's one of the sureties. To a friend. I'm not asking for anybody else. You can't get no one. You can talk to you. He has been told. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Tom's dead. There is no problem. If you see somebody now, you can allow you without the mouth. Or no food. Tom's dead. The cake is assumed as food. Okay. 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 Okay.